Hello, hello everybody. It's Pizza Cat. I'm back at it again with a new video. Today we're going to be doing a overview, a quick overview of all the new premium vehicles coming up this next update. The update's going to be called Apex Predators, and I'm going to be doing a reaction soon of the F-16 MiG-29 trailer. Um, so far, uh, we've already covered the A-60 tram, so there's no need to talk about him again. Let's talk about MiG-23 ML. Probably going to be the best vehicle. It is the best premium vehicle in the game. It's a slightly worse MiG-23 MLD. You get the R60Ms, the R24s, and the R13M ones, which are amazing missiles. So you get this beautiful plane with the nice Tiger meat camouflage from the Czech Air Force. It's very nice. I think it's a very nice camouflage. $70, though. So yeah, there's um, there's the big, uh, uh, no thanks. 2,000 Golden Eagles should have given us more, like 3,000, but, you know, whatever. Um, do I recommend this vehicle? If it's on sale, yeah, go buy it. I already have the MLD, so I will not be buying him. Oh my gosh, I clicked on the wrong things. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, MiG-21 Bis Lazarus M for Germany. Very nice camouflage here. I like the experimental camouflage. Uh, but do I like the price? No, I I know I know I keep beating the dead horse about the price, but seventy dollars, that's really bad for a digital plane. I really feel like Gaijin should have picked the model of selling them at like twenty five or thirty dollars regular price. Do like the bulk sale, cause if it was twenty five dollars for the rank six and rank seven thirty, you guys would sell so many more planes. This wouldn't be fifteen. It'd be just like do it bulk, do it bulk. And another good thing about selling it at a lower price and also doing regional pricing is if someone were to spend, oh, $25, like give me a MiG-21 BIS, this thing is cool, shit, I love the MiG-21, they'd be a lot more invested than if they were just a jet guy and all they cared about was jets and they got overwhelmed by the terrible grind. And, you know, because some people don't like to, you know, go up the ranks and learn the aircraft, learn their props, learn their early jets and go all the way up. Some people just like buy their way up. And I feel like someone, if I'm like a guy who loves the MiG-21 and I bought this guy for 25 bucks, I'd be a lot more invested and like stick around with the game if I'm just some dude who's like getting frustrated at props. And like, this is not a good practice though. What I'm suggesting is not good. You shouldn't do that. You should probably learn the tiers, learn the early jets. Don't be a noob. But I feel like this should just sell a lot lower. Um, It's a MiG-21 BIS, probably the second best premium jet in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like out of these, it's probably the second best. I did it again. I did it again. I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. MiG-21 BIS. Do I recommend it? $35? Yeah, sure. Why not? Fucking buy it. You do you. <laughs> I don't know. There's not a lot I can say about these premiums. This one. F4J UK. You get the nice, unique Tiger camouflage from 1988. You get 2,000 Golden Eagles in the same amount of premium time. You get the Sky Flash air-to-air -air missiles, which aren't that bad. So, 11-3, by the way. All the aircraft I've shown you so far are 11.3 VR. It's got nice radar guided missiles and AIM 7Es. Um, probably not the best for a meta because the missiles, you have the weapons are there, but the airframe is just not there. The Phantom is just ugh, so slow in the dogfight. It's just like, ugh, it turns really bad. Next, the J7D. Another 11.0 jet for uh, China. It's basically a MiG 21 SMT from what I've heard. With PL-5, which are basically Magic 2 missiles, but without the all-aspect part. So, they're going to be pretty nice. It's $70 still. It's got a terrible pre-order bonus camouflage. I'm sorry, I do not like this camo. Um, for all you Chinese pilots out there, there you go. I would still say buy the A5C. Even if it's like $35, I'd probably say buy the A5C. You're going to have like a lot more relaxed time here. This guy is just going to be, like, sweating your balls off. No, I am. Honestly, a lot of these planes I cannot recommend. Like, I know we haven't gone over these guys, but honestly, these two are the best bets. A6E Tram, from the dev server footage, it's another A10 situation, another SU-25 situation. Just the turning capabilities are not there. The weapons are there. All right, Kafir Canard. Two AIM-9Gs at 11.0. What else is there to say? You basically have two air-to-air -air missiles at 11.0. It's got great ground attack ordnance, but you're not really going to have an opportunity to go out like bomb basing and like 
ground attack at 11-3 because the matches are so fast. You got this cool camouflage. That's pretty cool. Would I suggest you pre-order this? No. I wouldn't suggest you pre-order any of these vehicles, not even the MiG-23, which is probably the safest bet out of all of them. Don't pre-order it. Wait for it to come out on the live server. Wait for people like me or like anybody else to review them. I'm not going to be reviewing any of these, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, just like, wait for people to do reviewers. Tankenstein, he has a great channel. He'll do a great review of these vehicles. And here's the saddest plane out of all of them. The F-104S. 10.7. I barely see 10.7 vehicles. You want to know why? Because in today's matchmaker, 10.7 is basically 11.3. You're just going to get shafted with full up tiers. Same thing happens for 10.3 aircraft. You're just going to have full up tiers. But... Unlike other 10-3 aircraft, this guy has no countermeasures. Nothing you see here talks about it having countermeasures. You get four AIM-9Ps and a bunch of ground attack. I don't know why you'd ground attack in a Starfighter. But this one is just the saddest one. Don't buy it, even if it's on sale. Like, get the Ariate and buy a Talisman on a rank 7 plane. I don't know if the Ariate can do rank 7, but if they can do rank 6, buy rank 6 Talisman. Then research rank 7, then buy rank 7 talisman. You know the deal. Just don't buy this. Do anything but buy this. It's so sad. It's such a sad plane. And do I support the $70 price increase? No. I think it's stupid what they're doing with the $70 price. But if you account for inflation, because they were selling rank 6s for like $70, for $60 back in 2020. So if you account for inflation right now, they'd be $70. So if you're okay for paying $60 back then, you should be okay with spending 70 now because it's basically the same price. So basically, I haven't gone up the price, but still, I think it's stupid. I think it's really stupid what I just done with the pricing of this aircraft. And I feel like they should just do the in-bulk mindset of selling them for like $30 regular price. They just sell so much more. Um, best bet, MiG-23, MiG-20 on BIS. Then I do for the J7 or F4. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if... um. If you guys want to see some more dev server footage, I'll do my reaction. I'm trying to upload a little bit more recently. I just been on vacation recently, so that's why I haven't uploaded in a bit. And there's a lot of news to cover, so I hope you guys stay tuned and have an awesome day.